Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? How's everyone doing today? It's Monday. <laughs> Hip hop parade. That doesn't mean anything anymore for a lot of us. So. Just another day. Should have played some Oingo Boingo. Just another day. <laughs> that was the association with Never My Love. A very, very cool song. Full of inspirational teachings that we can become better people with. <laughs> How was everybody's weekends? <laughs> Mine was all right. Just pulling baby duty. <laughs> Literally, huh? <laughs> We're trying to potty train Violet right now. She's getting a little old for diapers. She's graduated to pull-ups, huh? and she doesn't know how to go to the potty herself. Some days she just refuses. <laughs> uh, and I'm smoking black raspberry because it's very early in the morning. In my little bones. And I was going to get this out yesterday. Because I managed to get on the Zoom for Pipe Club for about 10 minutes before my connection just wasn't having it. I think I got on for about 15 minutes total. But we were talking about bones and everybody has one and 
different shapes and what's coming out and sellouts and well, not their sellouts, but their pipes sell out. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to go get my bones. And I ran in the house. I got two of them actually. And, uh, one of them's in the bedroom, so I can't get it while everyone's asleep. I could, I just don't want to risk it. <laughs> but this one's in my lunchbox in the kitchen. I smoke this pipe all the time. Both my bones pipes, they just smoke like gems. <laughs> and uh, I won this from Flat Cap Piper. And uh, I forget which pipe I picked. I had a choice in that gaw. Between this and the St. Patrick's Day uh, Missouri Meerschaum Cobb. Later renamed the Emerald. <laughs> and it was after St. Patrick's Day. So technically it's an Emerald. I forget which one I picked. But I think I may have picked that Cobb. But... Uh, the other winner, Floyd Piper, donated his winnings to me. <laughs> so I got both. What a bunch of swell dudes, you know what I mean? For real. Ah. <sighs> Excuse my weird angle today. I broke my beloved tripod. Ridiculous, I know. Oh, here's its leg right here. I'm going to attempt to glue it back on. <laughs> but see... It's flexible. This was given to me by Harriet Herfer, so... It makes me extra sad that I broke it. But I'm going to fix it. <laughs> and it was a tragic swing-pushing incident that knocked. <laughs> I had these things, you know, I read in the instruction book. You can wrap these legs around a pole or a tree and hold the camera in place. It's like, sweet. But I never really needed it. Never used it. But I hooked up the phone to on it. I got a uh, app, iVolume, boost your volume on your phone a little bit so you can hear, you know, your music a little better. So I had some music on, pushing Violet on the swing. Higher, Daddy! I want the highest push. I said, all right. She's on one of those like teeter totter swings that two kids could sit on. And I launched that swing, and it kind of went a little crazy and whack. Knocked my phone <sighs> right off the swing set, breaking the leg. I'm lucky the phone's still in one piece. This is my filming phone. <laughs> and uh, I tried using this thing. But it leans back too far. It's a little fold out one. It's, I don't know, it's supposed to go in your wallet or something. <laughs> it's good to watch videos on, but not to record them. So I've been wanting to watch a bunch of movies. I finally got to watch Get Crazy last night. I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. <laughs> I don't know if anybody out there has seen Get Crazy, huh? It's just an 80s rock and roll comedy revolving around a concert. <laughs> it's a very entertaining, very stupid movie. <laughs> I had a very good time watching it. I love bad movies. That was a good movie, purposefully bad, you know? That's my favorite kind, really. But I will giggle like Beavis and Butthead all the way through a bad movie. 
which comes in handy because I can do that when Kimmy's watching Teen Mom too. <laughs> Giggle at the stupid <laughs> stupidity. It's better to giggle at it than to commit suicide over it, huh? <laughs> it's the last thing I want these girls watching around here. It's Teen Mom, huh? They would try to make me a grandpa. <sighs> But we had a good weekend, Violet and I. She's very fun to hang out with. Makes this lockdown thing all right. <laughs> and she doesn't like to go anywhere. So, I mean, we force her to go places. <laughs> we force her to go to the park, huh? Not always, but sometimes. My street's as loud as always out there. I haven't heard any news in a couple days. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with the virus and blah, blah, blah. Just staying home. Maybe I could watch Nocturna, Granddaughter of Darkness, today. Or is it Granddaughter of Dracula? Huh. <laughs> Disco vampire epic, you know. You guys know I like Dark Shadows, for those of you that even know what Dark Shadows is. <laughs> My favorite show at the moment. It's taken me almost six months to get about 820 episodes in. There's 1,225 total. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. You know, it's quite a, a feat. From 66 to 71, five and a half years, to make 1,225 shows, and for the most part, keep your cast intact that whole time, and coming in every day, five shows a week, you know, and that's why Dark Shadows is cool, because you could see, there's somewhat of a budget, but you could see when they have to do something on the fly, or on the cheap, actors flub their lines all the time, Microphones and lights come down into view all the time. Tombstones wobble, walls wobble, grass gets bunched up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But anyway, at the end of every episode of Dark Shadows and the credits, they let you know that the fashions were provided by Orbox. And uh, I remember Orbox. I'm from L.A., man. Come on. We had all the stores, huh? Orbox, the big department store, uh, turned into a Mervyn's at our mall, I believe, in the 90s, like, or maybe late 80s even. So they've been gone a long time now. And a lot of the fashions and morning neighbors. Jose's mom is here. I never met her before. I still haven't met her, huh? You should go say hi. From Tijuana. Anyways. <clears throat> Smoking jackets. You know, there's a, just a regular smoking jacket, and then there's a robe kind. And Dark Shadows has the coolest smoking jackets I've ever seen. And uh, there's like snakeskin ones, and they're just like real slick. I want one. 
<laughs> I want one real bad. <laughs> I need a smoking jacket. And uh, I've looked them up. You can get like costume ones, Hugh Hefner ones, but they all have like a Playboy bunny on them somewhere or something. They're cheesy, you know. A good one looks to run about three hundred bucks. I'm sure I could find one in between, you know. <laughs> I really want a smoking jacket. I've always wanted one. You know, Carl Betts on the Donna Reed show, or Fred McMurray and My Three Sons, or, <clears throat> you know, all the pipe smoking dads had a smoking jacket. I think I would look pretty cool in one. <laughs> No plans today. Uh, hopefully to watch some movies. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know, Kimmy worked all weekend, so she's going to just want to hang out and not leave the house, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, I try to get everyone to watch stuff together. They can't do it. Um, I watched uh, the original Child's Play, you know, Chucky movies. It's free on YouTube with ads. <laughs> so I watched it with Presley, the 13-year-old. Which, I saw Child's Play in the drive, or uh, not the drive-in. But I saw it uh, at the mall. I'm going to say I was 11 or 12. Rated R movie, but... I saw Child's Play 2 and 3 in the movie theaters, too. <laughs> I used to love the movies. Huh? I'll talk about it more sometime. <laughs> but Child's Play, and she was done. One movie. <laughs> and Kimmy. <laughs> it sounds like I'm going to say something really bad. Huh? Well, she got a short attention span, I'm afraid. Huh? <laughs> And uh, she can watch, you know, shows and shows, but they're like, they're ADD oriented <laughs> shows. Uh, we did watch these cool videos yesterday. We watched two of them and it looked like there's a herd of these videos. I don't know what South American country they're in. But it's two guys. The, one of them had one guy. One video had one guy. One video had two guys. And uh, they have these sticks with these blades on the end. And they just hack, right? And they dig a hole into the ground. And then they c cut a door into the round hole. And it makes a little hallway back. And then it turns. And then they put a slide going in. Whew, so they can get down there. And uh, they just carved it by hand with these little chisels. And they made slots next to each other all around the rooms and all down the halls, all the way through the place. So put candles in each slot. Then they fit <laughs> uh, like some kind of bamboo stalks or something together to make uh, pipes. And they ran water from the river down the slide and filled the thing with water. There's two places they can lay on to sleep in there, above the water level. Oh, but this is after they painted the place by grinding up leaves into dark green, like, teal paint. And then they milk the sap out of this tree and paint a brick pattern in white all over. So it looks like a, a swimming pool. It looked really cool. And, uh, you know... <laughs> How awesome. <laughs> I wish I was that creative, you know? <clears throat> I don't know what they call that. 
I think the channel is called Survivalist or something. But it was way cool. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I don't really have much news or anything. <laughs> I do have some more reviews that I'd like to do, especially... Uh, the one I really need to get done, I think, is a uh, corn cob pipe and a button nose. And uh, I want to do that because Sebastian gave it to me with like one bowl missing. Just gave me the tin. I guess he didn't like it. So I would like to do a little thank you to my friend Sebastian. And uh, I think I only got one bowl left, so I got to do the review soon. <laughs> it's really good stuff. Mm. My morning Raz. <laughs> Have a really great week, everybody. God bless you all. And uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs>